There is a myth that has been around for a very long time that the Japanese soldiers would commonly just toss their dust covers because they rattled and found them to be useless. Original photographs would suggest otherwise. First and foremost, a Japanese soldier is not going to remove and throw away part of the rifle issued to him. The imperial chrysanthemum stamped on the rifle isn't just for show. It's to tell him that the rifle is the property of the emperor. You aren't going to mess with the emperor's rifle and your sergeant would probably most likely beat you if you did. Now with the rattling. This myth is very similar to M1 Grand Ping myth that also just won't go away. Yes, they do rattle, but they really only make a sound once you cycle the action. The only reason for you to open the action in combat is because you fired your weapon, and there's no way that a rattle is louder than a gunshot or the other various noises of combat. But why a dust cover? Well, here is a photo from the Russo-Japanese War. These soldiers have their Type 30 rifles wrapped with rags. Clearly, they must have problems with dust fouling the action, and you can see why they would want a dust cover on their next rifle. You may think it's just silly to have a dust cover on a rifle for fighting in the jungle, but Japan was planning on fighting in China and Manchuria, not jungles. So why are the dust covers so commonly missing? Well, there's two parts to this. I've heard and read from several veterans that when they were returning home, it was very common for the officers on board the ship to tell everyone to remove the bolt from their trophy rifle, and all the bolts were collected into a box. When they returned to a port, such as San Francisco or San Diego, they'd all be given a bolt before disembarking. Anyone that's put a bolt back into an Arasaka knows it's a pain to try to get the dust cover lined up correctly. I don't think many of the soldiers, sailors, and marines would have bothered doing so and they just wouldn't bother putting one on. For the other reason why they so commonly missing, and this is just my theory on the matter, is that very late in the war, Japan being desperate for steel, were going into the arsenals, warehouses, removing the dust covers, monopods, and in some cases cleaning rods at anti-aircraft sites. It is very common to see Type 99s that were made with all these early features in our fantastic condition but the dust cover, monopod, AA site, and cleaning rods are all missing. Clearly they weren't issued out, but they're still missing those parts. Here is a couple original photographs. One of some Japanese soldiers surrendering their weapons and another of a US Marine with his trophy. Both pictures show an early war made Type 99 that would have had those parts in the factory, yet those parts are all missing. Thank you for watching my video.